Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. In my previous video, we have learnt about hiding and showing certain products in catalog conditionally using search filters in Salesforce CPQ. Today we are going to learn about how a single product can be configured to chart differently using Salesforce CPQ. I call it flexi subscription. So let's learn about it. Okay. So here is the agenda. Uh, first of all, we're going to learn what is flexi subscription, where is it used, how to achieve that, uh, a use case and a demo of the same. Okay. So what is flexi subscription? So flexi subscription can be referred as the possibility of purchasing a product for a lifetime or subscribing the same product for a limited time. Okay. Using the same product, we can purchase it for lifetime at a one-time cost or we can have a subscription for same product. Where is it used? So flexi subscription can be used in the following cases. First case is to avoid the skew proliferation. Second is to enable the user to dynamically decide their need. Right? How to achieve that? So flexi subscription can be achieved using an attribute that we have to define. Based on that, we can define what type of subscription we want or we want to have it a one-time one. A price rule to set different fee and a custom object to make the rule dynamic. Okay. Now a use case. Okay. So uh, there is a company called MyBag. Uh, it is producing large number of bicycles every year. So they have a huge market sale of their bicycle. Apart from that, they also provide the facility for bicycle subscription per month. They want to avoid skew proliferation so that number of the skews can be reduced. Right. So the same my pack can be sold at a one time course or that can be subscribed per month. Okay. So now let's review it how that can be possible. So I'm on a card. Okay. I have uh, a price rule written. I have some lookups that I have created using lookup queries. I'm referring this record. But let's first see how this can be uh, seen. Okay. I'll go to uh, catalog I'll select hardware I'll click select and over here I'm gonna have attribute which will be called like payment mode how we want to pay if it is a one-time pay then that means we are purchasing it okay so I'll select one time and I'll click save as I go over here uh, let's just go to the cart let's wait for that to come up and let's see the pricing so if I go to cart, it says like it's one quantity and the price is 2500 USD. Okay. And if I change any kind of subscription term or something like that, it doesn't affect that, right? Because this is what we purchase, right? At a one-time cost. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just reconfigure this, right? And now instead of purchasing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subscribe it, right? So the payment mode is recurring, right? That means I'm going to have a subscription based purchase right that means like I'm not purchasing it but I'm I'm subscribing to my bag so I want to use it for how many months I'll be using I'll be getting charge okay. so I'll save it I'll come onto the card and you can see the price is reduced to ten dollar right it became 120 because uh, it's being subscribed for 12 months so if I make it 24 the price will immediately change based on this right so this is how you can you utilize the same product to be charged as differently like you want to purchase it at one time cost you can do that if you want to subscribe it and you want to pay monthly you can do that okay now how this is configured okay so we have written a price rule that we can see it's a calculation event is before calculate uh, evolution scope is calculator then we have lookup object Okay, so we are using lookup queries to compare these steps, like whatever is the payment mode. We are using lookup queries to compare this so that we can make dynamic. So that's where we have used this object. I'll come over here and I'm checking in lookup queries like uh, which field we are checking up. We are checking up the field payment mode that is an attribute and we are checking it against the payment mode field on lookup object, right? The price lookup object. So if I go over here, I can see payment mode, right? So if the payment mode is one time, then this record will get selected, right? 
and if the matching record found then it will go to price action right it is setting the list price as whatever list price providing over here as 2500 and rest of the fields are getting set to null because it's a one time code right? okay in case of uh, subscription okay when we select payment mode as recurring right it will select this record when the attribute is recurring then the same thing list price will be 10 it will be subscription based product so it will be the subscription pricing will be fixed price term is one month because we want to have monthly subscription and type is renewable so you can renew your subscription right so that way you can consider your same product at different course you can purchase it at one time you can sell it at one time you can subscribe to your product as well right so that way we can achieve this type of flexi subscription thank you very much for watching the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel uh, and please like and share the content right so that you can uh, learn more things and you can spread more knowledge thank you very much